Um, I'm Andrew of CobeMetal.net, here with Ola Lindgren of Grave. Uh, how are you doing today, man? Pretty alright. Uh, I got a bad cold for a couple of weeks now, so it doesn't seem to want to leave me. But it's just hanging in there. Making life difficult. Yeah. Uh, how's the tour been so far and the rest of the guys? It's been really good, actually. Uh, we're about two-thirds through it now. Well, more than that, actually. We have seven or eight more games. Uh, it's been a lot of very good shows. I mean, it's a very, very easy tour. Us and Dorfield will know each other from earlier on. Uh, I toured with Morbid in Europe in the 90s. Uh, so we're all kind of familiar with each other. It's just a very easy, very easy uh, kind of feeling around the whole package and everybody gets along really well. So it's great. Cool. So, the band has been together for, I mean, 25 plus years and uh, you guys are still going strong. What do you uh, attribute to your longevity? Not sure really. I mean, it's, it's uh, the past uh, like six, seven, eight years, it's just the, the whole scene has been picking up again. And uh, I mean, as long as there's an interest uh, in, in hearing new songs and, uh, and seeing us play live, we'll, we'll keep going really. And I mean, it's. Uh, pretty amazing to be able <coughs> to have such a long career in any kind of music really. So I think we're very very blessed and very very fortunate to be able to do this for so long. And uh, we just keep going really and we do pretty much two uh, two year cycles now for the albums and uh, have a lot of good tours uh, and, and support from the label and such so it's better keep going. Uh, you guys currently have a new record out entitled Endless Procession of Souls. What was the inspiration behind the lyrical themes and overall concept of this album? It's, uh, it's a lot, lot of different stuff in there. Uh, mostly just made up stories like ghost stories or supernatural. Um, a lot of stuff about you know, like afterlife or between life and death and shit like that. But, easy to write about because nobody can actually tell you that you're right or wrong. Yeah. You can write a lot of stories about it. So it's, uh, I say it, it's got, got kind of a supernatural uh, feel to the whole lyrics, uh, lyric theme on the, on the album. Very cool. And uh, Endless Possession of Souls was released in multiple formats, one of those being a limited edition box set, which includes cover tracks from Anthrax, Celtic Cross, and Voivod. Yeah. How long have you guys been waiting to release those songs, or were they recorded especially for this set? Uh, the Anthrax and Boy Bond was recorded now for when we did the album. Uh, the others uh, has been around. The Celtic Frost cover is uh, all the way since back since '95, I think we recorded that. Okay, yeah. And uh, it's uh, just stuff we do to like tribute the, the bands that we grew up on and that, that made an impact on us. Really. Very cool. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, since the band's formation, despite the brief hiatus from 97 to 99, um, Grave has pumped out release after release at an impressive rate of every two years or so. Yeah. Um, has it been difficult maintaining that level of consistency? Not really. I mean, uh, we've, we've been doing uh, pretty much the same tour uh, tour cycles for the albums. Uh, we haven't been over here as much, definitely as much as, as we have been doing in Europe. Uh, usually there's always uh, a couple of European tours, uh, getting over here we feel lucky, doing summer festivals over the summer, and then it's pretty much time again to start to start writing. And uh, it's hard to tour for, for an album that's like even over a year old, at least over in Europe. So you need to be consistent and have stuff out all the time. For uh, There's so much music out there, so I mean, if you, if you don't don't put new stuff out there all the time, people will, will definitely go and, and check out other bands. And yeah. that, that's, that's the point behind it, to keep being consistent. Yeah. You guys recently parted ways with your last record label and have returned to Century Media. Yeah. How does it feel rejoining a label that Grave has such a long history with? <laughs> it's really it's really great. I mean, that, I know a lot of the people there. Um, a lot of them has worked there for like 20 years, 15, 20 years. So it's a uh, very easy. Uh, we get along really well. They have such a majority of our back catalog as well. So 
uh, when we were uh, looking for labels again after uh, we parted with Regain, they were one out of I think three or four others that we talked about, and uh, it wasn't really hard at all uh, the decision to go back to them. Uh, for your past three releases, including the latest, the cover art has been done by notable album artist Kostin Shoryanyu. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what was the determining factor to go with him for a third time? I like a lot of the stuff he does. <laughs> and the the two, two previous ones he did for us, I really like uh, the way he, he draws and his color schemes and all that. Uh, <coughs> so we uh, just asked him to, to put something together and uh, gave him you know, some song titles, uh, the album title, uh, some ideas about coloring and stuff like that. And he came up with that in like a very short time and uh, we just loved it straight away when we saw it and we didn't change anything about it. Really? So that's, that's, that's what he came up with. And, yeah, very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. It's, it's very brave. Yeah. Um, obviously there have been you know several lineup changes. <laughs> Uh, over the years, uh, what are your thoughts on the current lineup of Grave? It's very, very strong actually in, in uh, getting new, new blood in the band also, especially for this album, helped out to, uh, for the writing process because everybody had so much to bring to the table. So it's definitely a band, a band effort and uh, it's a... Uh, the whole album is, is pretty much written in the rehearsal room like we used to do in the old days. It's, uh, it's a very very nice feeling to be able to write like that again. Uh, compared to previous albums where it was mainly me and Roddy, my drummer, who did most of the writing. Uh, in, the, in separation and met up together or just bounced emails with files and stuff back and forth. So it's, uh, it's definitely a... a uh, a nice way to write like that again, and, uh, and everybody has contributed as much to the album. So, like a team. Yeah, <coughs> very much a team effort, and also live. It's uh, you can feel feel that kind of uh, energy and synergy you have if you have the right people in the band, and I think it shows also towards the audience. Definitely. Uh, when you're on the road or working on new material, what do you guys like to do with yourself to unwind? Uh, not much really. I don't really have any hobbies or stuff like that. I'm just lazy. I like to watch movies or whatever TV shows. So yes, anything just, in particular. Just relax. We. Nah, I, I, I follow a lot of the uh, the American uh, like big production uh, TV shows. Uh, what have I watched lately? Dexter, I follow forever. Uh, Homeland, I really like that. Very cool. Boardwalk uh, Empire, oh, yeah, very good. Very good. Uh, just, just those shows that are interesting in some way. Wow. Uh, Definitely. And uh, any parting comments or advice for your fans? Just a uh, uh, big thanks for 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 supporting the band throughout all these years. I mean, we we don't do this for ourselves, for our own egos. You know, we do it for for the people that want to hear our music and come see us live. So, yeah, the big, uh, you don't get into this business for the money. No, nah, <laughs> definitely the wrong <laughs> love for the crap. The wrong kind of, wrong kind of business for, or genre at uh, least. So they don't want to make money. But so, big, big thanks for everyone for, for sticking with us. Definitely, man. Yep. Well, it's been a pleasure. Cool. Thank, Thank you for you. taking the time and doing this. Thank you. Hey, this is Ola from Grave and you're watching CobraMetal.net.